welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about five products that i regret buying now before i begin by talking about what all i regret buying and why i regret buying i would first of all like to talk about there's a difference between hating a product and regretting buying a particular product for example i might like a particular product but probably because of its price range i might regret buying it there could be products that you might absolutely love but they didn't just work out for me so i don't know if i'm uh, at some fault you can let me know in the comment section below and also a disclaimer please don't get offended by this video there can be products that you might absolutely love but it just didn't work out for me so i feel like uh, putting it to my regret list also that you know painting is quite subjective if you ask professionals they won't like the camel products right so that is the thing that i just want to talk about so please don't get offended by this video so now let's get into the video so starting off with the first product quite basic product like not really a basic product but i'm talking i'm talking about the varnish now this is the varnish by arfina this is in the spray form i haven't tried uh, any other brand spray form but the one that i have tried didn't really work out for me the reason being that when i spray it on my canvas or the surface that i want to apply the varnish on i feel like oh wow it did the job but okay after 24 hours i don't really see a gloss i don't really see or feel that if it's like the varnish is protecting my painting if it's really protecting it um it's reasonably priced it's it retails for 250 rupees and i feel like um the varnish the regular or traditional varnish is also of a similar price range so i feel like you can go ahead and buy that i know it gets a little messy it's it stinks but then i think that it's better to invest in such a product rather than by going ahead with this i know i've shown this in my past videos but uh, i don't think i'll be you know promoting it more on in my videos uh, although i'll be finishing up with this i've just used it three four times and i don't seem to get results but i won't be throwing it either i'll be utilizing the complete product okay next up on my list is this fine liner okay now i don't really know the name of this fine liner i'll just link it down below so what basically happened was um i bought it like a real while ago like for example like two three years ago i didn't really know fi what fine liners were and i picked up anything that as soon as i went to the store i said i just need a fine liner and they gave me this and i've seen a couple of people use this and they were like this is so good this doesn't smudges with water and whatnot but i don't know if it's if my fine liner is faulty or if theirs was a lucky one or i don't know what's the case but uh, this completely smudges with the water it completely ruins also the fact forget about smudging with the water like fine liners usually we use it with watercolors too so forget about that fact the nib is so weak that if i just put a little more pressure to this nib it will just break away from the plastic the body of the pen and i don't know i mean i just don't like okay um also the fact that there are micron sakura micron i went to a workshop and i had used um micron sakura yeah i had used those fine liners i didn't really i mean they are good they don't last really long as compared to the brush straw i know i promote a lot of brush straws product <laughs> but then it's uh, it's a fact that i love their products most of the products are amazing so i would just highly recommend you all to go ahead with the brush straws one the one that i got the one i regret buying i know this is way cheaper i got the set of it so i regret buying the set of that now this was for like uh i guess 40 or 50 rupees rather like instead you can get this one for like 69 rupees each which is like worth buying they last so long so long i have a, a pen which is lasting since ever since i can't even remember like brustros fine liners last really long if you are into mandalas they are your thing they're your thing don't even go ahead with the micron uh, sakura go ahead with the prastro you'll love it or you might just get two of them and try it out you'll love prastro more i assure you that 
ओके नेक्स्ट वन कम्प्लीटली ब्रेक्स माय हार्ट शार्टर जट अवे आई मीन आई आई डेंट आई डेंट आई डेंट इवन एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी दिस पार्ट आई फॉर गॉट द प्राइस आई गेस इट वॉज फॉर टू फिफ्टी और थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज दीज आई हैव शोन इट इन माई हॉल वीडियो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक इट आउट एंड आई आई हैव मेड अ डिसीजन दैट आई वॉन्ट बी डूइंग हॉल वीडियोज रादर आई बी डूइंग अ वीडियो वेर आई हैव यूज ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड आई परचेज ट्राइड इट आउट टेस्टेड इट एंड देन आई बी गिविंग यू अ रिव्यू एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ डूइंग अ हॉल आई मीन आई वुडेंट बी डूइंग अ फर्स्ट इम्प्रेशन वीडियो आई डोंट गेट द लॉजिक बिकॉज I was really appreciating about this because I really had high expectations. How can I not have high expectations out of this? Now what happened was, whenever you see, like if you just open this and touch the sheets, you will feel like you are in heaven because the quality, the texture of these sheet are so good. I kid you not. I felt like I'll be rocking. I'll be acing the game of watercolors, but. of course um that didn't happen i mean it did work out well for watercolors for the time being but the fact about it is that i made this painting uh, i've shown uh, in one of my videos i guess yeah doodle videos um so what happened was i didn't take a short close up so i could have shown you but my painting fades away from it i have made a lot of paintings on different kinds of sheet from watercolors the same kind of watercolors that i use all the time everything is the same but i don't know why did this get faded i didn't leave it to sunlight or something it was closed all the time rather sheets should lose their color they should get fainted so next product is something that is controversial and please don't come at me please don't come at me that's just my opinion that's how i feel about it the product is studio aquarel watercolors now i don't know if it's pronounced as pb or what but these are their watercolors and luxury watercolors basically i paid around uh, 1700 for this yeah i paid around 1700 for this and um i paid 500 for this set i bought it long ago long ago uh 500 for this set don't you think if i'm paying three times or four times the product i expect it to be three times or four times better than some this right but to be honest it didn't okay it's not a product that i hate of course i like it more than the camel paints but if you are if you don't feel like please don't go ahead i would rather give you some links down below that you can go ahead and buy uh, in the same price range if you're trying to or planning to invest in good quality watercolors i would rather say go ahead with those pants different tubes are even available but don't go ahead with this one because um you know it's not a product that i hate but it's a product that i regret purchasing and i regret paying around 2000 for that product it didn't deserve my money it is a little better than the camel ones but i don't know i just that's how what is my opinion and the fact that i bought the expensive set of watercolors there's a reason for that and i'll disclose it in my upcoming videos but yeah the difference between the two is that you know of course when you when a person who has been using wash from um you know from ever since and if you ask that person to use poster colors they would actually not like it and if you ask a person who likes poster color to use gouache they might not like gouache or they might start liking it more than gouache but more than po poster colors but uh, the model of the story is that if you if we, if i have to just close my eyes and consider one product between camel and pbo watercolors i would of course pick up pbo for the fact that i've closed my eyes i'm not seeing the price factor in it but i'll pick up that but if you see the price factor if it's worth buying it is not and if i regret buying yes i regret because i paid 2000 rupees for a product which is not four five times better than what i'm paying right now for the camel watercolors so the next product is this canvas pad now um i bought it for the sake that investing regularly on canvas 
canvases can be really costly i have to get regular canvases so instead i thought i'll just go ahead with uh, you know canvas pad and i can do regular paintings without even spending so much on canvases because canvas pad is way cheaper i know there are acrylic sheets but i wanted to get the feel of canvas and to get the feel of canvas there is something called canvas pad now i obviously would expect canvas pad to be similar or very very close to canvas but to be honest the texture of this i didn't like it i know i mentioned it in my previous videos but i didn't like it i mean when you paint on it you would feel like it's a very smooth surface while the surface of canvas is is not that smooth and i wasn't really expecting it to be this way um my first painting on this was like it was okay so i mean i kind of like it but i mean kind of like it i liked working on canvas pad but the second painting that i did i didn't like it because i was actually uh, getting the feel i was taking the feel of painting on a canvas pad rather than just painting on any piece of sheet i know there are acrylic sheets available but then i just wanted to work on canvas thingy and i don't know the fact that uh, it's uh, the camels one is like this or every um, canvas pad is like that but the fact that i regret purchasing it is that i paid 300 rupees for it. now i bought it from amazon so i bought it during the peak lockdown when you know all the supplies weren't available and at that time this costed for even more than the mrp and then i had to pay extra delivery charges and it costed me even more than that like around i paid for 450 rupees but if we just consider the fact that i paid around 300 for this canvas sheet i don't find it worth it i mean not even worth it i regret buying it because i didn't even use it after making two of the paintings and i i i mean i don't have any clue of it what i'll do i'll try make more paintings on it if i feel like if i'm running out of acrylic sheets or maybe if i think i don't want to purchase canvases recently i'm not doing acrylic paintings but i'll soon get back to it so probably i'll use it and i'm even trying to i'm planning of making a video wherein i'll be making a painting or making something out of the products that i hate okay so let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see such a video and i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope uh, please do not get offended i hope you were able to learn something out of it and yes guys that's about it for this video i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new out of it do like share comment subscribe and follow me on instagram everywhere links all the social handles are down below also let me know what all you would like to see next on my channel and now i'll meet you in the next one till then goodbye